Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about how to read the selected file by using file upload control in Angular. I have one file upload control. If I select any file, that file I want to file data, I want to read. After that, I want to send this data to the server or some other place. Okay, that is based on your requirement. We can do some operations. But our goal is like, if you select one file, I want to read that selected file. That is my goal. So that I created this Angular application by using Angular CLI. I run this application by using ng server command. It is compiled successfully so that I can view this application output by using localhost 4200 URL by running that. This is my Angular text, which is coming from my root component app.component.ts. For my root component, my template URL path is like app.component.html. So this is the content is visible to the end user. Now come to our requirement. First, you can take one photo. Okay, I'm going to select my photo by using input type equals to five. Input type equals to five. Now, by default, there is no photo, nothing selected. So by default, I want to place one photo here. My photo will be equals to 100. Also by default, I want to place one photo here. Now, if you come here, how it looks like, see this. This is the one. OK. Now, here, the image, if you not selected anything in the assets folder, I have on default dot png this image i want to show by default okay once i selected this image has to override by your selected image so that just you can maintain just you can maintain one image path okay image path variable post type is like a string okay from assets assets default dot jpg is my default dot jpg is my image path so here I can place that. How we can by using property binding source is the one. Just you can mention your file path which is hold with this variable. Okay, you can keep like this. Now come here. Now say this. This is the one. Default file. Now if I choose my file, for example, if I choose one image uh, on my desktop that has one image is there. Okay, this is my image. If I choose this image, this image I want to show here. This image I want to show here. That is my requirement. So that, first of all, which image you selected, okay, that image data if you want, first of all, the image selected or not selected. Somebody, you have to listen it or not. If anybody select that image, you have to listen or not. For that purpose, just you can write one event for this particular input type equals to file. The change event, you can write it change event change is my event okay this at the time of changing any file okay that means if you select a new file or something if the file change this event is going to trigger okay this method is going to execute so that just you can handle this method okay now the component name is like app component.ts just here itself you can handle it here itself you can handle it now this one is going to trigger or not if you want to check just you can put like one alert message if I select any new file, okay, that method has to trigger. So then now if you come here, yes, this method triggered, yes, working as expected. Okay, perfect. Now, which file you selected, which file you selected, that selected file I want. So that, first of all, this event happened on this particular input type equals to file input control or not. Okay, I want some event information, then we can go with dollar event property okay now this event is triggered on which input control you can get that input control information by using an event so that my function change should handle this event as an argument so that here you can get an event so the event is triggered on which input control you can get it by using target by using target you can get that event uh, event is triggered on which input control so once you get the target element once you get the target one from the target element you can get the files okay if you want you can put the debugger you can write all these things in your console so now come here 
this is my choose file okay choose file okay now come here searching now this method is triggered this method triggered this is my event now come here my event dot target this is your file input control how many files you selected one file which file that is that file is this one or not that file is this one or not that means this is your selected file this is your selected file or not selected file my event dot target already you take anything another variable you can write like this this is your selected file now once you get this selected file open this one my selected file type is like image or size if you want to check okay based on the condition my size should be less than 4 40000 bytes or something write the validations based on your requirement you can write the validation if you want to allow only images then that time also you can write some validations then that time also you can write some validations okay that means by using this information we can write the validations on my file size as well as i can write the validations on my file type also or not if my type is like something like image is there, then the time I can say like I can allow, I can allow. Okay. Other than that, if it's like a PDF or something is there, I don't want to allow. I don't want to allow. Then that time you have to give some error messages like that. Okay. If you want the type or something, if you want the type or something, okay, just you can get this image. Okay. Select another file. Then that time you can understand that is like which type. Choose file. Okay. Select one more file okay for example this is my another file another file now if you come here if you come here the file information is like what my file type is like what text plain or not my file type is like a text plain or not if my file type is like a text plain don't allow if it is like image then only you can allow it if it is like image then only you can allow it so that what we have to do just you can take the type and split this one. If it is image, then only you can allow if you want really the type. So that let my type equals to from the selected file. Okay, just take the type and split with this one and split this one, split this one. Okay. Then after splitting, I want the first part. Okay. If my type equals to not equals to image other than this anything. Okay, then that time just you can do the alert message like please select select means okay and then return it don't do any operation don't do any operation now see this it will work or not check it okay just let me remove the debugger choose file if i'm selecting like a such there is no alert message nothing if i select other than image Okay, this is my UI series. Please select image only. Like this, you can get a, like this, you can get one yes message or not. Not only type based on the size, also you can write some validations. Okay, then once you have the file, this is my file. You need to read that file. You need the you need to read that file. Well, how you can read that file means by using file reader one class is there by using that one you can read it so file reader is equals to new file reader is the class is the class so which file you want me to read file reader dot read is the property read as a data url okay binary string okay any one of this one you can use after that you can change based on your requirement okay what do you want me to just which file which file you want me to read, just take that file. Take that file. While reading the file, okay, I don't know how much time it will take. I don't know if successfully read or some other interruptions may happen. I don't know that one. So that it is like asynchronous action. How much time it will take, I don't know. If the success or failure also I don't know. So that you can handle it. Onload is the method to handle the file read successfully completed. This callback will trigger. Okay, on error is the method. On error is the method. If the file while reading, if you get any errors, then the time this method, this particular method will execute. If it is like successful read, then the time you can get the result. You can get the result. What's my result? You know, 
okay my file reader dot result file reader dot result once you get this result once you get this result now can we update this image for it's a default one now you can update with your file okay how we can this dot my image for equals to result okay if it is like an error if it is like an error okay this is my string right you can put like any you can put like any okay if it is like failure then that time as usual as usual just show this message only my this dot image path equals to my image path equals to this one this one you can put it now can you check it will it work or not okay let me on the debugging choose file choose file select such in now first you can come here okay selected file is this one select file information is this one type is like an image only so that no problem by using file reader i can read it okay and then if it's like successfully read then let us see my result this is my result series okay if i read a data from that particular url okay my result is like what it's like a base64 format it's a base64 format or not once i get this base64 format okay now you can assign that one assign that one now say this yes you can get this one or not this is the way you can read the file and store that file data in a base64 format and assign to my image stack okay see this if i select such in, yes my such in is visible here or not now based on your requirement you can give this base64 data to my database that means server my server is going to insert this data within the database that is one thing otherwise if you don't want like this you can create like a form data form data class object okay add this file to my form data and give this form data give this form data to my server my server is going to keep the data inside my database or somewhere okay these are the different different ways to retrieve the data to retrieve the data from the selected file inside input control from my input control thanks guys thanks for watching